Okay, so my name is Varun Goyal, and in this question, uh, let us see. <clears throat> the distances between successive positions of a moving car measured at equal time intervals are shown. And uh, so as we see the diagram, you can see that the distance traveled by the car is increasing every second. And it is increasing by the same amount. So this is a very peculiar characteristic of a constant, constantly accelerated motion. So directly we can go to our option and we can tick the answer D. But only if you know this characteristic. That okay, if it is getting accelerated at a constant acceleration, the distance traveled in each and every second will keep on increasing with the same amount. But if you want to prove it mathematically, like how can you say that? So we have to go into some theory part. So let us see. We know that in a uniformly accelerated motion, the distance traveled is given by S is equal to ut plus half a d squared. So the distance traveled in n seconds, let us say, now this is the part of theory. I'm not aware that this theory is completed in your classroom or not. So that is why I'm giving you this theory. So the distance traveled in n total n number of seconds, like 5 seconds or 10 seconds in total. So that will be given by u into n plus half a n square. Now, if I say that I want to find the distance traveled in one particular second. So we have to find the distance traveled in n minus 1 seconds now. And then we will subtract these two and we will find the distance traveled in one particular second and this is what our question actually talks about like this the duration is one second and this is the distance traveled by the body in uniformly accelerated motion in one particular second so what i'm going to do is we are going to subtract them now this will be u into n minus one because now there are n minus one seconds so this is equation number one this is equation number two now if we subtract these two now, what are they? The distance traveled in like 10 seconds minus the distance traveled in 9 seconds. So, what we get is the distance traveled in the 10th second. This is what I'm going to calculate. So, I know the formula. So, that is why I'm not uh, uh, computing each and everything. You can do it yourself. So, when we subtract this thing, it will become the distance traveled in the nth second. And the formula comes out to be u plus a by 2 into 2 and minus 1. Why I know this? Because I have done it and it is the part of um, theory in India where I teach. So this we have taken so you can drive it yourself, no problem. So now what are we uh, interested in? We are interested in the distance traveled in each second. Now the distance traveled in each second is increasing. So it means that distance traveled in S in the nth second and the distance traveled in let's say n minus oneth second so likewise the distance traveled in the fifth second and the distance traveled in the fourth second so we are now comparing these two so this will be given by by using the same formula it will be only the value of n will be substituted as n minus one now so it will be 2n minus 2 minus 1 so which will become 2n minus 3 and now this is equation number three this is equation number four so now if we subtract these two, I will actually get to know that what is the difference between this 2.5 and 2. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. So the equation number 3 for let us say first second, third second, second and third second. So for the third second the equation will be this and for the fourth second the equation will be this. So now I'm subtracting this. Let us do that and see. So I would be getting delta S, it will be, it will be A by 2 into 2 as I have done it in my mind itself. So it is A. So now you can see that the change in distance is coming out to be equal to A. So the change in the distance traveled in one particular second is constant. So one, it is converting, it is uh, increased by 0.5, then it is increased by 0.5, then it is increased by 0.5. So every time it is getting increased by 0.5, so the answer is D.